onion. My name is Jill and I'm 60 years old. Hmm. I've been a messy person all my life. I hoard food. I, I feel guilty about wasting something that somebody could be using. I use uh, duct tape to close the freezer door sometimes uh, when I've got too many things in there. My name is Kathy, and Jill is my older sister. The food in Jill's house is just really scary. It's because it's everywhere. Uh-oh. Looks like I lost a grapefruit. I went into her home, and um, I was shocked. I was just shocked. I was horrified. We were supposed to be eating a meal, and there was no place to eat. Oh, that's where my scale is. We were supposed to be cooking a meal. There was no place to cook. There was no place to wash dishes. And none of it seemed to bother her at all. I've had periods of poverty where I haven't had a choice of what I could eat. That uh, affected me really, really severely to the point now where I want to always have a choice. Oh, find a lid. My name's Aiden Madigan. I'm Jill Madigan's son. <laughs> Her current living condition is uh, poor at best. Aiden's always grown up in my disorder. I taught Aiden how to shop in periods of poverty. Four dollars, that's not terrible. It's very seductive to gather things that you might need when you don't have money to buy them. Hazel gut flour. Wow. Oh, I didn't know they made uh, spaghetti from corn. A Zen cube. Mm. I have this difficulty with resisting sale prices. When something is inexpensive, I buy it. Ooh, irresistible, it's springtime. Having a pantry that has a, a large collection of different types of foods means that I can come up with whatever I want to throw together. And uh, I'm a good cook. She's a damn good cook, but... Uh... Finger food. There are things that I buy and then forget about. She gets pumpkins from the church sometimes so that she can make uh, pumpkin pies. But with the, some of the perishable items, she gets sidetracked and forgets about them, and then they just sit there. Cabbages are, are really forgiving. The outside will go bad, but the inside will be fine. There we go. Now we're seeing some good color. I believe that if things have been kept cold and if they're not puffed up, they're just fine. What are you going to do with sour cream? What's going to go wrong with that? Is it going to go sour? Yeah, you know, uh... <laughs> There's still a very good meal there, so it'll taste good. Can I make a suggestion? Yes. I, I think maybe it makes sense to prioritize first areas of hazard, okay. things that pose a danger to you, your pets, the people around you. My name is Dr. David Tolan. I'm a clinical psychologist and a researcher in the area of compulsive hoarding. I'm Brendan McDaniel. I'm a professional organizer. We help people get on track to an organized life. Brendan and his team are going to help with the organizing aspect of it. I'm going to get, uh, get in there with the behavioral and emotional change part of it. Sound like a plan? Sounds, sounds great with me. 
Let's okay. get inside and get warm and get to yes. it. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> I think you're all you're you're all set. You're about ready to do the uh, pumpkin. Oh, it was a it was a beauty when it when it was alive. I enjoyed you while you were here. Thank you. Goodbye. There's a lot of work to be done. This is probably the worst house uh, that I've done. Period. Oh my. Let me just look and see if there are any seeds in here so we can try to uh, get a few of these because this is an odd pumpkin. I've never seen one quite like this before. And if I can grow some, that would be neat. OK. The kitchen is what I'm really concerned about. Just the pure magnitude of the amount of food in the kitchen that all needs to be tossed out. Got apples. Looks like it's separated. Oh, looks like more apples, some lettuce, some other stuff that turned black. Delicious. So, how about the freezer? Can we get rid of everything in the freezer? Uh, let me look through it if you don't mind. Oh, I didn't know I had tamales. Oh, I'm going to keep those. I'll, I'll keep this one. I'll keep this one because that's small ones for me. If it's squishy, I'm tossing it. Those don't look good. What is that? Ground buffalo. Oh. Expired. It probably isn't expired because I haven't been buying it that well, long. Well, it's it's green inside. It's hard seeing someone living in these conditions and not having a, a, a problem with that. You've got this really cool organic chicken broth, free free range chicken broth right. yet. But it's November of 08. That's, Can we let that go? No. That's something that I would be able to use. Well, we have. Uh, it's not puffy. It's expensive. I don't have the money to replace it. I understand. And it is something that I can eat on my diet. How much bacteria do you think would have to exist in here before it would puff? Uh, I think quite a bit. Yeah, you're yeah. probably talking life-threatening amounts of bacteria. Yeah. I must have a cast iron stomach or something because I can get a away with eating stuff that sure. other people get. Uh, they see the date and say, oh, horrors, November 08. How critical is it for you to make the big behavioral changes that are going to actually get you where you want to be in life versus saving the money and hanging on to this very expired chicken rod? My, my thought is that you have a blind spot here. My thought is that you're falling into one of your hoarding habits. <sighs> Clutter is the symptom, but hoarding is the disease. If all we do is tackle clutter, if all we do is remove things, we're not changing her behavior. We're not really helping her in the long run. And if we come back in six months or a year, I think we would find that the house is exactly how it was. Today, we're going to go and work in the kitchen. Uh, Jill's got to make some decisions about getting rid of lots more things. Uh, on that side of the shelf is going to be bad. Throw that butter, throw that cottage cheese. Farina, that I will keep. How long have you had this? I don't know. You, when, when there are bugs in it, which is what happens to them, they, there are little crawly marks that go in here. That's how you can tell whether it's got bugs. Uh, do these expire? I mean, what can they do, go sour? They can give you food poisoning and kill you. Ricotta cheese is frozen solid. What's your rule? Talk us through it. Okay. What's your logic? Well, my logic is that when stuff's frozen, it expires slower mm -hmm. than, than, than it uh, would when it was not well, frozen. Well, the date on this is January of 07. Oh, my god. Something about those eggs is really scaring me. Yes, those those are the ones that those are the ones that I got from your from you for my birthday a year ago. Yes. A year and ago. I gave them to you to eat. Well, I, they were too pretty to eat. Are your perceptions of food completely accurate? 
Or might there be oh, something no. irrational? Oh, you know, I know that you're right about some of it. And I'm throwing out things that I've kept in there for a long time. Some Absolutely. of them are no-brainers. But, but some of them are things that I had to really look at them before I could find some good reason to throw them out. Well, and what's, what's going on with that? Uh, once again, an attempt to uh, be self-supporting. That's the driving force behind most everything. And yet, it is also that mentality that got you here. I know, yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what's going on in this? This is all gone. Oh, oh boy. Ugh. This is... Pitch it. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm really grossed out. <laughs> Please. Yes. Uh, do we have? <laughs> it looks like something. I, <laughs> to, I gotta go. Something All out right. of a bad dream. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <sighs> this looks like residue of the meat that was not completely frozen. It smells a bit fishy. Holy smokes. I did not plan to uh, let it get this bad either. It was so disgusting. I just. My God. And there's stuff that was in that drawer that, that she's, she's still examining. saving. I know. I know. She gave me this this package of cheese that had been sitting in that dripping stuff, oh. and she wanted me to look for a date on it. Something is off here. Your old way of doing things. Right. Your old way of thinking about things. It is self-destructive as hell. What I want so anymore. Jill, the, the guys, uh, the one eight hundred guys. Hold on, hold on. Can you can you let me add it before you start? There's nothing here that I want to say, but you're ready to jump on me for it, okay? I, you know, you, 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 you're expecting me to disagree. You're expecting me, but, you know, but don't, don't, you know, give me a chance, will you, please? That's fine. I'll just turn the seal All right. That. All Thank right. you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, as soon as you open it up, yeah, it's been hard. I, 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 you know, I, I know I need to change in order to get the life that I want. Uh, the yogurt will just let it go. It's all gone. Okay. Take it away. Shut Shut it. Dare Shut it. Don't take the leche. Okay. Thank you. Nice going, Jill. Unless Jill makes a dramatic and sustained change in her behavior, then the problem's just going to return. She's going to fill that space up again. Yeah, this is cat and dog stuff. This is good stuff. Yeah, this is good stuff. being a fan of hoarders and subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.